Welcome to our new course, the ultimate introduction to V-Ray 4 Cinema 4D. I have been working on this course for the past three months and it feels amazing to finally be able to make it available to you guys. It's 800 minutes of on-demand videos in 70 lessons covering everything about V-Ray 4 Cinema 4D, including lighting, materials, cameras, rendering and so on. Every single minute of every single video is planned and thought for. You get the top-notch quality you've come to expect from Ograph Plus. We'll keep the course updated at least for a year after the initial release, even though we tend to keep our courses updated for much longer. Now let's go into the specifics of the course. We start off the course by introducing V-Ray for Cinema 4D, where to find different V-Ray tools and functions and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with V-Ray. The next section of the course is all about lighting. You'll learn about the fundamentals of lighting and different lighting techniques while learning about the vast and unique lighting tools that V-Ray offers. We'll learn about area lights, mesh and IES lights, dome light and image-based lighting. We talk about V-Ray sun and sky, procedural clouds. You'll learn how to approach interior and exterior lighting in V-Ray for Cinema 4D. We get to know light mix, an interactive lighting tool to adjust the color and intensity of your lights in a real-time fashion during or after the render. We also learn about the amazing volumetric effects in V-Ray, including environment fog and aerial perspective. In section 3, we talk about global illumination or indirect lighting. First, we learn how light rays work in real world and how V-Ray simulates the same behavior using GI. Then we start learning about different GI engines in V-Ray like Brute Force and Light Cache. We'll learn how to use these engines in different lighting scenarios to produce the most realistic lighting possible, the pros and cons of each one, and where to use them. We also learn how to render flicker-free object animations with GI in V-Ray. And finally, we talk about generating realistic caustics. In the next section of the course, we start discussing V-Ray materials and maps. Not only you'll learn about all the specific V-Ray materials, but after watching this section, you will be equipped with the core shading fundamentals and cutting-edge techniques in shader development. First, we'll learn about the powerful V-Ray material, which is capable of creating all sorts of materials. There are seven dedicated in-depth lessons covering that material. Then we discover bump and displacement mapping in V-Ray. You also learn how to create highly realistic human skin shader using V-Ray material. We talk about the dedicated subsurface scattering material or FAST SSS2 in V-Ray. V-Ray hair material will be covered in detail. It's an easy to use yet powerful shader. After that, I will introduce you to a new simplified approach to shader creation. I will show you how to create some of the most daily shaders like plastic, fabrics, wood, concrete, metals and so on. We'll be covering the robust car paint and blend materials as well. Then we'll learn about two-sided light material, curvature and dirt maps, distance map, multi-subtext, triplanner, UVW randomizer and much more. At the end of this section, we'll learn how to use V-Ray decal to project and mask materials. Hopefully after watching this section, you should be very comfortable developing complex shaders in V-Ray. Then we'll learn all about cameras, camera types, depth of field, motion blur and everything that relates to working with cameras in V-Ray. First, we explore V-Ray physical camera in depth. Then we'll learn how to get depth of field and motion blur. We'll learn about different camera types in V-Ray, lens effects, auto exposure and VR ready renders. Section 6 of the course is all about rendering with V-Ray. First, we'll learn all about the fundamentals of image sampling and ray tracing with V-Ray. Then we talk about ACES, a system to manage color in all levels of the production. I will give you an overall understanding of what ACES is and does, how to set it up properly in V-Ray for Cinema 4D. Then I share a few examples comparing ACES and the default color manager and show you why ACES is just way better. And finally, how to deal with ACES managed renders in post. Then we talk about GPU and hybrid rendering in depth and how to properly use V-Ray GPU as a production proven render engine. After that, we talk about V-Ray Frame Buffer. It's a world on its own that allows you to relight, composite, color correct and compare your renders without the need for an external post-processing app. We talk about denoising and all of the available denoising engines in V-Ray with a lot of comparative examples. We'll learn how to denoise still frames and animations. After that, we dive deep into the subject of render elements. What are the render elements that V-Ray offers and what each one contains and how to save them out correctly to use in post. And finally, compositing render elements in Fusion will be covered, both the famous Back to Beauty composite with the Beauty render elements and the Light Mix composite for relighting purposes in post. The rest of the render settings will be explained as well in a few videos. 
In the next section, we take a closer look at a few miscellaneous topics like V-Ray Enmesh, V-Ray Fur, V-Ray Clipper, V-Ray Particles, Object Properties, and V-Ray Proxy. We also learn about Volume Grid. I show you all the steps you need to render OpenVDB and other volume formats in V-Ray and how to render amazing and realistic clouds, fire, smoke, and explosions using V-Ray. I will also teach you how to render Cinema 4D Spyro simulations with V-Ray. If you want to learn V-Ray for Cinema 4D, this is the course to get, period. We work really hard on our courses to assure the quality of them and you get an academically oriented, well-structured course that will take you to the next level of your career as an artist. This is our 21st online course here at MoGraph Plus in the past decade. Thousands of students from around the world have participated in our courses. I invite you to join as well and learn from the best very course available online. So sign in or sign up and let's get started.